The future of cars. The six transformative trends in the automotive industry. Let's look at the future of cars and the six transformative trends in the auto industry. As a futurist, I help companies understand future trends in all industries. I've just written a book on future business trends and future tech trends. And if you want to learn more about any of those topics, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel because I have a lot more content on all of these things on my channel. Really, over the last hundred years or so, cars have evolved. They've gone faster and more sophisticated, but fundamentally they have stayed the same. They still have four wheels, an internal combustion engine and a steering wheel. But over the recent years, we've seen some big changes from electrification to autonomous driving and even flying cars. We're also seeing shifts on how people use cars. So let's look at the six biggest trends that I am seeing. The first one is that we'll have more intelligent cars. We, cars got smarter as they became connected to the internet. They're now able to predict and adapt, which gives us much better safety, more comfort and things like intelligent in-car assistance. We can control them with our voice. Cars can even monitor our eye movements to understand whether we are paying attention or not. And these the systems will only get better over time. Which leads me to my second trend. As these systems become better, we will have self-driving cars or fully autonomous cars. Um, and autonomous cars have grabbed the headlines over the last few years. But we already have cars and trucks and other vehicles that can drive by themselves. But there are challenges in terms of legislation, infrastructure and societal readiness to some extent. I believe that autonomous driving will become the norm in the future. And full uptake of autonomy could actually reduce road accidents by up to 94%. So what I am predicting is that we will see a gradual move as cars become more intelligent, they will take over more tasks and gradually become autonomous. The third trend that we're seeing is that cars will integrate more into our smart cities. So um, most cars sit idle for 90% of the day and what we'll see is probably a shift towards more shared car ownership, maybe car as a service model, especially in cities. Um, where, we'll, where I think public transport will play a massive role, but there will always be a role for cars. So what we'll see is that they will integrate and communicate with the smart city infrastructure. So we'll have smart roads, smart car parking spaces and other facilities, and cars will communicate and integrate into this whole system. Which brings me to my next trend, the servitization. I said that car ownership is going to change and what we'll see is that in addition to renting and owning um, and having a car as a service basically so you don't buy it you, you, you rent the, the ownership or have mobility as a service what we're seeing is more additional services will be added so the whole infrastructure around smart cities, around cars, around mobility. If you think about cars can offer parking spaces, charging spaces for electric cars. Mobility as a service offers so many new opportunities to widen this whole move towards a service economy. Another key trend is alternative power sources. So we are seeing this massive move towards electrification at the moment. Ford basically said that all the vehicle, vehicles it sells in Europe will be electric by 2030. And VW says that 75% of all of their cars globally will be electric by 2030. And some are even more ambitious. So Jaguar is planning to switch its, its entire production line to electric vehicles already by 2025. And then there are new other sources. It's not just about electrification for me. There's green hydrogen on the horizon as well, especially for larger vehicles and trucks and buses and vans where this might become a really viable option. So we're seeing this transition. 
And then my final trend is how cars are being built. So this is another big trend that we are now seeing this change towards industry 4.0 where um, we have more automation, more robots, but also a move towards a greener production where we make sure that car parts are recyclable, a completely different supply chain to some extent where suddenly car companies need to source batteries and so on and integrate into a charging infrastructure in the future. And the other thing we're seeing is that instead of having these mega factories where cars used to be built in the, fast, in the past, we now have more pop-up factories because cars are built completely differently. I was recently looking at a, a van and bus manufacturer in the UK called Arrivals and they are now building these pop-up factories in less than six months and they are up and running producing cars. So this is pretty fascinating. So the, the entire car world is going to change in the future. There are so many trends happening, so many shifts happening. I hope this was useful. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more information. Check out my website where I have hundreds of articles or check out my books, Business Trends in Practice, where I have a, a, a whole chapter on the future of mobility or my book, Tech Trends in Practice, that looks at other technology trends too.